Diabetes isn't just a common chronic illness. It's a growing global epidemic that continues to affect millions of people across all age groups. It interferes with how the body processes glucose, the sugar that fuels our cells, organs, and brain. The process of glucose metabolism relies heavily on a delicate hormonal system, particularly the hormone insulin. Before we continue, I'd like to tell you about Diacelon, a powerful blend of 13 natural ingredients, each carefully selected for their proven ability to support healthy blood sugar levels, enhance insulin sensitivity, and promote overall wellness. You can read more on diacelon.com. In healthy individuals, insulin works like a key, unlocking cells so that glucose can be absorbed and used as energy. However, in people with diabetes, especially type 2 diabetes, this key either isn't produced in sufficient amounts or the lock it fits into becomes faulty, a condition known as insulin resistance. This leads to elevated blood sugar levels, which over time can cause serious damage to nerves, blood vessels, the kidneys, eyes, and even the heart. The increasing prevalence of diabetes has prompted researchers and health-conscious individuals to explore additional methods to manage the disease beyond medication and diet. One natural compound that's gained popularity in recent years is chromium, specifically in the form of chromium picolinate. With claims of improving insulin sensitivity and stabilizing blood sugar levels, many people wonder, what happens when you take a single pill of chromium? Is it just hype or is there real science behind the effect? Let's walk through what this mineral actually does, how your body responds to it immediately and over time, and what it could mean for managing diabetes more effectively. Chromium is what scientists call a trace mineral, meaning our bodies only require it in small amounts, measured in micrograms rather than milligrams or grams. But despite this small requirement, its role in our overall health is profound. Chromium plays a central part in how our bodies metabolize macronutrients, carbohydrates, fats, and proteins by helping insulin function properly. Insulin, as we mentioned earlier, is the hormone responsible for shuttling glucose into cells. And chromium acts as a kind of co-pilot in this process. It helps improve the sensitivity of insulin receptors on cell membranes, making them more responsive to insulin signal. Chromium is found naturally in foods like broccoli, whole grains, liver, eggs, beef, and green beans. However, because of industrial agriculture, soil depletion, and food processing, the chromium content of many foods has dropped significantly over the past few decades. As a result, many people don't get enough from diet alone, especially those who rely heavily on processed foods. That's where supplements come into play. Chromium picolinate, the form most commonly used in supplements, is thought to be the most bioavailable, meaning your body can absorb and use it effectively. For people struggling with blood sugar regulation, whether they have prediabetes, metabolic syndrome, or full-blown diabetes, chromium offers a way to gently but consistently support better glucose management. It doesn't work by flooding your body with insulin, nor does it act like a drug. Rather, it enhances the natural mechanisms already in place, helping your system work more smoothly and efficiently. Let's go a little deeper into how chromium actually interacts with insulin and your body's cells. When you consume food, especially carbohydrates, your blood sugar naturally rises. In response, your pancreas releases insulin into the bloodstream. This insulin travels to cells throughout your body, binding to receptors on their surfaces like a key in a lock. Once it binds, a cascade of molecular signals occurs that tells the cell to open up and absorb the glucose. In people with insulin resistance, these receptors have trouble responding to insulin properly. That's where chromium plays its role. It binds to a low molecular weight chromium binding substance sometimes referred to as chromodulin, inside the cell, which amplifies the insulin signal. Essentially, it makes the receptor more sensitive, meaning insulin doesn't have to work as hard to get glucose into the cell. This process doesn't just help reduce blood sugar, it also takes pressure off the pancreas, which can become overworked in people with type 2 diabetes. Over time, high blood sugar and insulin resistance can wear down beta cells in the pancreas, decreasing insulin production even further. Chromium, by enhancing receptor sensitivity, may help preserve this vital function for longer. Additionally, improved insulin function contributes to better energy levels, more stable moods, 
reduced sugar cravings, and even support for weight management. It's not a substitute for insulin or medication, but it can serve as an effective partner in metabolic regulation. Now, what actually happens in your body after taking just one pill of chromium? While it might seem like such a small action, just swallowing a capsule, the changes begin almost immediately at a cellular level. Once ingested, chromium picolinate moves through the digestive tract, where it is absorbed in the small intestine. From there, it enters the bloodstream and is carried to tissues that rely heavily on insulin signaling, like your muscles and fat cells. These tissues are often the most insulin resistant in people with type 2 diabetes. Upon arrival, chromium begins influencing the way these cells respond to insulin by making receptors more receptive to its message. If you've taken the supplement alongside a carbohydrate rich meal, you might experience a reduced glucose spike after eating. This means your blood sugar won't rise as sharply or stay elevated as long. The difference may be subtle, especially after only one pill, but it's real. If you were to monitor your glucose levels with a continuous glucose monitor or finger stick test, you might notice a slightly smoother curve after meals. This immediate support can help prevent the post-meal energy crashes and brain fog that many people with unstable blood sugar experience. Though one pill doesn't dramatically alter long-term blood glucose levels, it's the first step in priming your metabolism for better control and stability. The more interesting effects of chromium begin to show up with consistent use over days and weeks. After taking chromium regularly, the body starts to build a more stable and responsive insulin network. Insulin receptors continue to function more efficiently, which helps your cells better absorb glucose from the blood. This leads to lower fasting blood sugar levels, smaller post-meal spikes, and possibly even a decrease in hemoglobin A1C over time, a long-term marker of average blood sugar. For people struggling with cravings or blood sugar crashes, regular chromium supplementation may also help stabilize hunger hormones like leptin and ghrelin, which play a role in satiety and food intake. Many users report feeling more satisfied after meals, less prone to reaching for sweets or snacks between meals, and more balanced in their mood throughout the day. Consistency is crucial. Chromium doesn't accumulate like fat-soluble vitamins, so missing doses can reduce its effectiveness. Think of chromium as a tool that helps fine-tune your body's sugar-handling machinery. Each pill is a small tweak, but taken regularly, those tweaks can lead to a noticeable upgrade in your metabolic efficiency. Now let's talk about what the scientific literature actually says. While the body of research is not without contradictions, numerous high-quality studies point to chromium's potential to support glucose control. In one clinical trial published in the journal Diabetes Care, participants with type 2 diabetes who supplemented with 1,000 micrograms of chromium picolinate daily saw improvements in fasting, blood glucose, insulin sensitivity, and hemoglobin A1c after just four months. Another study published in the Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that chromium supplementation improved insulin action and glucose metabolism in overweight adults. Researchers observed not only better glucose disposal, but also lower insulin levels, suggesting improved insulin sensitivity. However, not all studies show dramatic results. Some trials, particularly those involving healthy individuals or people with well-controlled diabetes, have found only marginal or statistically insignificant improvements. This suggests that chromium works best for those who are deficient in it or who have elevated blood sugar levels to begin with. There's also growing evidence that the benefits of chromium may be enhanced when combined with other nutrients like biotin or with lifestyle changes, such as improved diet and exercise. In summary, chromium isn't a miracle drug, but for the right person, it can be a powerful tool to support healthy blood sugar regulation. So who exactly benefits most from chromium supplementation? The ideal candidates are people dealing with insulin resistance, prediabetes, metabolic syndrome, or early stage type 2 diabetes, especially those who have poor dietary chromium intake. These individuals may experience more pronounced effects such as improved energy, fewer cravings, and better blood sugar control. Older adults whose insulin sensitivity naturally declines with age may also benefit, as might people under chronic stress, since elevated cortisol can worsen blood sugar control. Athletes or physically active people who burn through glucose quickly may use chromium to optimize energy metabolism. 
Additionally, individuals following high-carb or processed food-heavy diets where natural chromium content is low could be good candidates. On the other hand, if you already have a stable, well-regulated glucose metabolism and eat a nutrient-dense diet, you may not see a dramatic difference. Like many supplements, chromium's effectiveness depends on individual biology, lifestyle, and existing nutrient levels. It's not a one-size-fits-all solution, but for the right metabolic profile, it can be highly effective. When it comes to safety and dosage, chromium has a strong track record when taken within recommended limits. Most supplements contain 200 micrograms per capsule, and doses up to 1,000 micrograms per day have been used in clinical trials without serious side effects. That said, it's still wise to start with a lower dose and gradually increase as needed under medical supervision. Common side effects are rare, but may include minor symptoms like nausea, headaches, dizziness, or skin irritation. In extremely rare cases, usually involving long-term use of very high doses, people have experienced kidney or liver issues. This is why it's important to talk to your healthcare provider before beginning any supplement, especially if you're already on diabetes medication. Chromium can enhance the effects of insulin or oral hypoglycemic drugs, which could potentially lead to dangerously low blood sugar levels if not monitored closely. It's a supplement that works synergistically with your body's natural processes and with medications. But that synergy needs to be balanced carefully to avoid side effects. To maximize the benefits of chromium, you need to integrate it into a lifestyle designed to support blood sugar balance. Taking the supplement with meals, especially carbohydrate-rich ones, allows it to work in harmony with insulin when it's most active. It's also smart to combine chromium with a whole foods-based diet that's rich in vegetables, lean protein, healthy fats, and low in processed carbs. Daily physical activity, particularly strength training and cardiovascular exercise, enhances insulin sensitivity and can dramatically amplify the benefits of chromium. In fact, some experts believe chromium's greatest strength lies in how well it complements other healthy habits. It's not meant to be a standalone cure, but a valuable addition to a well-rounded metabolic support plan. Monitoring your progress is also crucial. Use a blood glucose monitor, track your fasting numbers, and pay attention to how your body feels. Some people also report improved sleep, better energy, and reduced inflammation after incorporating chromium into their daily routine. So what really happens after you take just one pill of chromium? While you might not feel an immediate jolt of energy or dramatic change in your body, something very real is already starting beneath the surface. That single dose begins to support your insulin's ability to communicate more effectively with your cells. Think of it as improving the signal strength between your body's blood sugar management system and the cells that need to absorb glucose. With better communication, less glucose remains in the bloodstream, helping to maintain a more stable internal environment. Even after one pill, your body begins a subtle process of improving insulin sensitivity, especially if you've been deficient in chromium or dealing with elevated blood sugar levels. The real power of chromium lies not in that one pill, but in what consistent, mindful use over days and weeks can do. It's a supportive tool, not a replacement for healthy habits or prescribed treatments. It doesn't promise overnight transformation, but it does offer something even better. Slow, steady, science-backed progress.